Hello, I'm Isra, and I will present today me and my colleague Aisha Poster, which is about Jones fracture. What's Jones fracture? A Jones fracture is a break between the base and middle part of the fifth metatarsal of the foot. It results in pain near the mid portion of the foot on the outside. There may also be difficulty in walking. Onset is generally sudden. Jones fracture symptoms include sharp stabbing pain on the outside of the foot, tenderness to the touch, swelling, and discoloration. Diagnosis Diagnostic x-rays include AP, oblique, and lateral views, and they should be made with the foot in full flexion. Types of Jones fracture Type 1 No intramedullary sclerosis Fracture line with sharp margins and no widening Minimal cortical hypertrophy Minimal evidence of periosteal reaction to chronic stress In the first picture, we will see fracture of the metatarsal shaft within 1.5 cm of the tuberosity This example is an acute Jones fracture Cortical hypertrophy is not present in this example. Type 2 Delayed union Fracture line that involves both cortices with associated periosteal bone union. Widen the fracture line with adjacent radiolucency related to bone resorption. Evidence of intramedullary sclerosis. In the second picture, we will see a fracture of the fifth metatarsal shaft within also 1.5 cm of the tuberosity, but type 2. This type 2 fracture includes intramedullary sclerosis, widening of the fracture line, and cortical hypertrophy. Type 3, which is non-union, it's a wide fracture line, periosteal newborn and radiolucency. Complete obliteration of the, of the medullary canal at the fracture site by sclerotic bone. Treatment and recovery. Type 1 and type 2 fractures are treated with an unweight bearing, while type 3 fractures should be treated operatively, but there are complications associated with the surgical fixation including pain at the base of the fifth metatarsal and it may require screw removal and shoe modification. Surgery. A doctor may recommend surgery for some types of fracture or if the person is an elite athlete. Surgeons commonly repair these fractures by inserting a screw, rod or plate during the procedure the surgeon uses x-rays to ensure proper screw placement. The screw crosses the site of fracture and squeezes the end of it together. And here we reach the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.